community. A local organization is helping Louisiana children during what could be the most traumatic time of their lives, and they have done so for the past decade. Fox 33's Jackie Jovic joins us live sharing how the organization reaches children in need. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Alex. We're talking about Go for Kids, and it is an organization that is just close to my heart. They do such wonderful work. They help children transition from crisis situations into foster care. They provide Go Bags, so they have those essentials that they need that first night when they are away from their home. And, of course, law enforcement is on the front lines of that when they're rescuing children from these crisis situations. I'm joined by two people from the Webster Parish Sheriff's Office, and you guys have a very special place in the history of Gopher Kids. Talk about that, Chief Deputy Hank Haynes. Yes, ma'am. First of all, uh, Miss Casey Kilpatrick Baird and her ch two children hold a very special place in our heart, Sheriff Jason Parker's heart and Lieutenant Sean Baker's heart because they were rescued in Webster Parish, Louisiana. And they inspired Casey to start Gopher Kids because of the situation they were found in. Yes, ma'am, that is correct. And Heather, Sergeant Heather Butcher, you're from the Special Victims Unit. Talk about the things that you see out there on the street. Well, on a daily, um, like you said, I work with children pretty much. Unfortunately, almost all cases have a child involved. Um, the, the thing about the, the bags, Casey, thank you, um, because it means so much to these little kids, because the best way to sum it up for me is these little kids are an environment that are good, bad, or ugly, but this is the environment they know, the people they know, the people they trust. And when we come there, it's fast and furious. It's not normally just me. It's me and Chief and other people and DCFS and so many strangers coming to this, these little people's house. They're scared and lights and sirens. And then they're taken from that environment they know, the people they know. Um, even though we want to be their savior, DCFS wants to be their saviors, but they're scared. And then they're removed, and then they're taken into another strange environment. So these bags are fabulous because they're, they're specific to gender, they're specific to age. So they have all the things that we take for granted, like toothbrushes, hairbrushes, pajamas, a, a pillow, things that that night when they're away for that very first time, they have something they can hold on to. And I was thinking on my way here, I was like, you know, I bet when these little, these little ones grow up and they're thriving and they reflect back, these bags mean something. Because those letters that are in the bags that are from other people that have similar stories, that means something to them. And it makes my heart just smile. Yeah, you're about to make me cry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and they do have comfort items in there. They have stuffed animals and blankets for the children. So you can help them by calling 318-629-7121 and making a donation. Back to you, Alex. All right. Thank you so much, Jackie and Sergeant Butcher as well. It's such an important organization, Go 